What do you think should happen next? Well, we're, we're going to be back on the same old record, uh, that we think the mayor really needs AA, we really think he needs to take a break, and increasingly the community thinks so. But SUA is an offense. We, we're all personally offended, but it's not a criminal offense. Our laws are uh, uh, all wrapped around criminal charges and uh, uh, criminal consequences, and we don't have those here. We have endless embarrassment. Uh, it will continue. Here he is talking to Mr. Lisi. Mr. Lisi's trial will unfold in the spring or the summer. The infamous crack video will be seen. But for now, we don't have any new criminal offense, just personal deep offended citizens. Right. Were, were, were you hopeful? I mean, you said he's clean out his act. He's lost a bunch of weight. You said he hasn't been drinking since November. I mean, did you believe him all along? Oh, I think, I think most human beings in the city of Toronto are hopeful. Uh, most of us have seen the effects of addiction uh, somewhere close to our lives. And so when someone looks like they're going to turn it around, you're always hopeful, even for someone who you may disagree with professionally. And so we're all deeply disappointed. And yes, very, very sad. Another counselor said when they saw that video, they thought there was something more than alcohol in the system. Do you wonder about that? Well, counselors who've been around a, a, as long as Councillor Ford has been in the hall, we've sort of seen him now under the influence of various substances. We've seen him when he's drunk and we've seen him when he's on other substances. We've now confirmed our suspicions about those. And so, um, Let's just say he seemed rather hyper and rather animated, and and that has turned out recently through his own admission to be other sorts of substances and alcohol. Okay. So people are speculating today. Who just said Councillor Ford? Do you mean Mayor Ford? Uh, Mayor Ford. It's because I've known him since he since he was a, a, a councillor. Uh, I started in two thousand and three. He, he's only got one more term on me. Right. But you said, so yeah. councillors have been talking about this. They've been wondering and thinking he was not just on. I heard, I heard a lot of that conversation on, on the second floor. We're back into that realm of here we are uh, looking over the last few points of the budget, and yet yesterday afternoon, if you made the circle, we have a circular second floor in all the poli politicians' offices. There was a TV on and people were speculating over that video. Huge distraction. What do you say to people? Because we've been getting a lot of comments that say this is his personal life, his personal time. Is there is there a line that you cross when it's no longer your time? You know, what are your thoughts on that? Well, we know what the mayor was doing on Monday night, and we know that he was expected expected to be in City Hall by 10:30 yesterday morning, Tuesday morning, and he showed up around three. Is it affecting his work life? It has all the way through this term of office. I, there's no question. And your thoughts on it, it, Jimmy Kimmel last night? <laughs> there were two minutes on Rob Ford for Toronto Star. Well, this is why I have said where initially the Comedy Channel was making jokes about Rob Ford, now the joke's about us. Uh, part of uh, Mr. Kimmel's jokes were about naming a restaurant Steak Queen. A lot of us love the Steak Queen, but now it's become a source of derision. The joke is increasingly on Torontonians, and, and so we really have to give our heads a shake at this point. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I appreciate it.